this is Dash, and um, here we go. So this is gonna serve as the video number four, week three, 2013 Beard Growth Project update. And uh, this week, let's see, let's see how I'm doing. All right. So uh, as you can see, the progress on the beard is starting to come in. Uh, I can brush it at this point, make it look better, but it doesn't take long for it to look all peasy and whatnot. All right, so here's the deal. I know I um, showed you kind of before the uh, process of me shaping my beard up and how I use a straight razor. So at this point, I'm going to shape up my face. So um, I think I told you before, I'm much better at doing the right side of my face than I am the left because of the fact that I'm right handed. Usually by the time this is all going to be said and done, I don't know, let me see if I can get back here. Usually my beard line goes from here down to here. I'm trying where well, I let it grow out as long as I did so that I can try and keep the shape of line a little higher to where my beard actually grows and comes in. Okay. Um, there's like a straggly hair up here and you can see hopefully what I'm talking about and trying to keep the line right about there. And let me see if I can go, actually, how about this? If I close the daggone blade, it'll be easier for me to show you. Look, this is the line I'm trying to keep, but most likely it'll end up coming back down here, which is where I usually keep it. Um, and under on my neck, I don't really trim this, only because this is where a lot of people or a couple people have asked me after I shaved, didn't I get any um, any uh, breakouts, any bumps, any razor bumps? No, I didn't. The whole reason why I didn't usually get razor bumps from shaving repeatedly. If you are getting razor bumps, you need to shave a little less frequently. So, or at least that's what I found in my own personal opinion. So if you shave and you get uh, razor bumps, you might want to cut your shaving routine down from every day or every other day to maybe every third day or every four days. Um, when I was shaving pretty constantly or like when I just had my goatee and I would shave from here back and here down, I would shave like once a week. And the reason was so I can give my time, my face time to rest. And giving my, my face time to rest allowed me to not break out as much. All right. Those things being said, let me just uh, go ahead right into it. And like I said, this is going to be the week three update. You can see the progress. All right, seems to be coming, moving right along. Um, I haven't actually put any products in my beard as of yet, but there was only one product that I used in my beard. But this is the product, and um, it says. Grow Healthy Thick and Healthy Olive Oil Cream. It says, Serious Therapy for Little Heads. Honestly, we saw this at like Walmart or whatever and thought that it might be good for my daughter. And the only reason why I picked it up, yo, it smells so good. <laughs> so, uh, for real, um, I usually just take a little bit, rub it in my hands, and then, you know, work it into the beard, and actually in my scalp as well. Um, it just smells so great. It, it really does. Um, I'm not a big fan of, like, coconut oils and other things like that. I guess I'm a little bit biased. Um, I do not like coconut at all. I'm not a big fan of coconut. The smell of coconut just drives me crazy. It's one of those things that I really do not like. So honestly enough, this stuff, it had no coconut smell or anything to it. There you go, all right? And when I smelled it to make sure it didn't smell like coconut, I thought it was pretty awesome. So yeah, we picked it up. 
and I think this is like our second or third container and like I think I use more of it than my wife might put into my daughter's hair all right so here we go here's a quick straight razor lesson for you guys um, and I guess some of these updates will be me doing just this all right uh, kind of nervous doing this on camera I never really did this before but obviously you see the before and here we go so um, I talked about this before or if I haven't talked about this before I think I uh, have said before that when I use a straight razor I do not use any shaving cream the reason being is with the straight razor and straight on your face you can actually see and get a more defined line uh, while you're trimming your face so me personally um, there's no real right or wrong way to hold the straight razor I just you know hold it this way right and I'm gonna take a step back so you can see and as well as me being able to see into the mirror so I'm trying to keep my hands out of my way and out of your way I don't quite know how that's gonna work out so you might just get blurred and blocked for a couple minutes but I'm gonna come up here from my hairline and just kind of scrape down Put in a defining line. And I'm using both edges of the blade. I'm using the edge furthest away from my hand for the pieces that are further away, and then the edge closest to my hand when I'm getting closer to where I can use it. And there you go right side done <laughs> looks so much better and when I get down to the point where my beard really starts taking off and this little bit of you know face or facial hair right here doesn't grow I'm gonna end up trimming it down to about this peak there which is, is usually where I have it all right now my left side because of the fact that I'm right-handed, I've tried to use my left hand, but usually I end up cutting myself. So in order to not do that today, I'm going to, and again, use both edges of the blade. So this time, this one, you'll probably see a little better. Just because of the fact And I think oh, there's still a stray hair. Yep, right on the shirt. Cleaning the blade off. Who needs a strop when you have a t-shirt? Right. Plus, I use the uh, the cheapo disposable blade. If uh, one of you guys want to chip in, or if you guys want to donate to my PayPal or something like that, click the ad in the link below, and uh, maybe I can buy myself a nice straight razor set. All right, one that you do need that leather strop for, and uh, are able to to do whatever. All right, let me just try to clean up this left side a little better. And there you go. Um, 
if you decide to start using a straight razor, honestly, be prepared. Um, I would venture to say that you should start using shaving cream first. When I first got the technique of using the straight razor down, I was using shaving cream. The shaving cream does act as a lubricant and it will help you to not cut yourself. You, When you saw me uh, using the straight razor, I was going in straight up and down motions. I've done one of these before where I've moved the blade and it, where I've Move the blade, like if I was going from here to here, I move the blade in that you know uh, horizontal, yeah horizontal motion, and it it'll leave a cut. Okay, uh, you have to be very careful with the straight razor that you go perpendicular, perpendicular to the blade at all times. So if the blade is this way, I'm moving the blade, you know this way. If the blade is this way, you know, you want to stay at that 90 degree angle to the blade because if you do not, you will have a, a scar and or a scrape to uh, prove or show and prove that you use this straight razor. All right, uh, again, this is Dash and uh, this is going to serve as the video number four, week three update for the 2003, 2013, gosh, 2003, 2013 Beer Growth Project. And uh, as always, let's keep this thing growing. Well, hey, you're still there. So after I shut the camera off, I looked a little closer into the mirror and I saw that there were some uh, uh, other like stray hairs. Uh, and here we go. So I wanted to show you this. When I showed you in the video earlier, I was only coming from my cheek down to where the hairline was. I do also on occasion go away from where my hair is, up away. And that'll help you obviously just like shaving against the grain with a traditional razor, it'll do the same thing. Like I said uh, in a previous video, the reason why I use a straight razor is because it does not get as close. Because it does not get as close, the likelihood of having razor bumps for myself and your mileage may vary, but the likelihood of myself having razor bumps is greatly reduced. Um, but there are times where you have to get that line, tighten that line up a little bit. So I'm holding the razor upside down and trying to get in here more definition. All right. an exfoliant when you have a razor blade straight razor rather all right for real this time this is the end and again this is the uh, week three update today is uh, January 22nd so it's, it has been exactly 21 days since I shaved my beard in three weeks of growth not too bad not too bad look thanks again if you haven't already click the subscribe button up there uh, and um like I said before, let's keep this thing growing.